Selfish Sex in Marriage. My name is Olushe Gumukulu. Did you know that sex does not keep marriage? i tell you a story. A lady was having issue with her husband. It became so serious, they got separated, and then they filed for divorce. They both won divorce. Along the line, the lady had a change of mind and feel that for the sake of our children, let's make this marriage work. So they began to reach out. She reached out to the husband. They began to talk. And then she went to meet the husband. When they met, they ended up having sex. The lady ensured that they had sex. In her thinking, if he could have sex with me, then the fight is over. We can come back together. The man had sex with her. And after the sex, nothing changed. The man said, nothing has changed. I don't want you. I want to go through the divorce. I'm not interested in you. And that was exactly what happened. You must understand that sex does not keep marriage. In fact, in most cases, men are extremely selfish with sex. Many women are married, but are never sexually satisfied. But it is a subject that they can't discuss. So everybody is dealing with it in their secrecy, in their privacy. Because men usually approach sex, sex from a selfish perspective. He goes into it, he's thinking of himself, he gets his pleasure, and that is the end. And in most cases, the wife is left hanging. That is to tell you that a man having sex with you does not necessarily mean that he cares about you. A man can pay a prostitute and sleep with her. Does he care about that prostitute? No, he doesn't care about that prostitute. Will he want his own daughter to be in the position of that prostitute and sleep with his own daughter? No, so he certainly does not care about that prostitute. He only cares about the sex. You see, women think differently. For you as a woman, in your thinking, giving sex is an indication that you truly care and that it, could, it binds you to the man. That's not the way the man thinks. But I want you to understand this. We are talking about the sinful man, not the new creation man in Christ Jesus. The new creation man in Christ Jesus, when he's well taught of the Lord, when he has learned of the word of God, he becomes selfless. Not just in daily lives, but even in the bedroom. This man is not thinking of himself. He's thinking of his wife. Do you know that's what the scripture says? The Bible says, esteem others better than you. He said, do not look to your own business, but look into the business of others. That's how the new creation man conduct himself in marriage. Sadly, even Christian sisters do not usually marry genuine born again Christian men. So this kind of thing is strange to them because they have not seen men that expresses the love of Jesus like this. I'm telling you that the love of Jesus will make a man to be selfless in the marriage bed. And unlike the sinful man, the new creation man in Christ Jesus will bind closer with sexual intimacy with his wife. You know what the Bible says about Adam the first time he had sex with his wife? King James says, and Adam knew his wife. Why did he use the word knew his wife? It was intimacy. It was a revelation. It was a coming together. It was a new dimension in their relationship. It is not so for the natural man or for the sinful man. He just sees sex as something he wants and he wants to get. For marriage to thrive, you must be selfless in the sitting room as much as in the bedroom. You must not just think of yourself. And as a woman, please understand that a man does not express love by sex. And that love in marriage it's not by feeling and it's not by sex. Even though a man that genuinely loves you will be selfless on the bed, the way to love is this. Husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. That is a love that is product of your will. That is a product of your revelation of Jesus Christ. 
A man without the revelation of Christ can never love his wife as Christ loved the church. It is my prayer that there will be selfless sex in your marriage and that your marriage will be filled with the love of Christ. In Jesus' mighty name.